We are vlogging again. I'm gonna be starting a mini series for y'all. Might call it Drifting Around the World. First stop, Oklahoma. But one of the number one rules when it comes to traveling or long drives is snacks. So we're about to get some snacks and head out. Three hour drive to Oklahoma. Let's get it. Oh, right here. And don't at me, bro. All these snacks. Look at this snack right there. Yeah, what else you got in here? Hmm? That's some a wife savings. Mmm, chocolate chunk. <laughs> I got the Astro World recess puffs for $4. Y'all ain't sick, slick for trying to sell them for like $30 to $40. I'm on y'all. Might as well do the same. show y'all this fire ass piece. Half off. Let me show you. Thirteen bucks. Check out. All was a dollar, bro. No tax. Let me, let me try one. Whoa, whoa. Yes, sir. <laughs> on a Sunday and I gotta be up at 5 30 in the morning and go to work but who cares so let's get into today's grills of course I got more than these these are just my highlights the, the juicy stuff I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see no boring t-shirts or all that stuff so get into this first one I got this Ed Hardy satchel bag side bag man bag woman bag I got it for still a five bucks you know i have a feeling that somebody will actually want this but not me next i got this planet hollywood t-shirt with the original tag it's not a knockoff i got it for i think three bucks at a goodwill so that was good as well 
Now getting into these windbreakers, I have this Memphis whip windbreaker. I like it because you know it's starting to get cold, so I might as well, you know, you might as well stack up on these. And uh, got another one of these Oklahoma. I kid you not, every thrift store I went in today, every thrift store I went into today had a Oklahoma windbreaker, so I only got one. I don't want to just have like 50 Oklahoma wind, Oklahoma State windbreakers. It's just, I don't know. I guess that's it's a small town, bro. But uh, now I got this uh, Pirates windbreaker with the patch on the side and it's Nike. I got it for 13 bucks. You know what I'm saying? I like it myself. I might keep it. You never know. But this, my favorite find of the day, I got a Miami University leather, whatever it is, with the big, with the big patch on the side and on the, you see on the sleeve as well, with the big logo in the back. They were having to sell whole store 50% off. That's crazy. The original price was like 25, I guess, but I was, I was still gonna get it. So next I got this Kentucky Starter Windbreaker with the big bird on the back and the patch on the inside, the CSS starter, yeah. I got it for seven bucks, bro. <laughs> if you wanna be ahead of the game, you gotta shop by seasons. Season, 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 shop ahead of seasons. Like, in the winter, you need to shop for the summer. In the summer, you need to shop for the winter. That way you can get deals and steals, I'm telling you. But uh, next, uh, I got this Columbia Windbreaker. I wasn't really too excited for this piece, but it's it's gonna get really cold. So this is a snuggy jacket for somebody. Next is I got this Obermeyer Obermeyer jacket Obermeyer. However you pronounce that, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. But when I'm in a thrift store, what I do was if something looks cool to me and I don't really know them about it, I try to look it up on Google and. For retail price, this is worth too much money. And it gives it gives me a vintage vibe. So overall it kind of it's kind of suits me. So I like this one. Next was probably my third favorite is this Elmo embroidered jacket. What snuggy jacket, sweater jacket, whatever you like to call it, with the big ammo patch on the front of it. Let me know what you guys think of this piece. I love this piece. But uh, next is this denim. Denim vest with the hearts on it. Not too fond of it. But uh, second favorite find of the day is this Harley Davidson reflective. It has reflective material and it's just the big old Harley Davidson on the back for five bucks. Come on. I might need to start going to Oklahoma on the regular. Yeah, it's me. Next is I got this Winnie the Pooh button button up it's for women's, but what caught my eye was the just the patchwork, the stitch work, and everything just pretty much on the front of it. And uh, somebody might can do something with this if you if you really have an eye for fashion. This is the shirt for you, but not for me. Now the misses put me onto this piece, and this is a badass blazer. Badass blazer. If you're into fashion, even though I just said this, if you're into fashion, this would complete, this will complete everything. If you know how to style, if you know how to style overall, this is a, this jacket is perfect for you. And we got it for five bucks with the big patch on the front. Come on, come on now. Last but not least is, I got this denim jacket. Kind of gives me like a 70s vibe with like the color scheme and all the patches. But uh, I mean, that's about it. Tired of shit. I don't think I have to say that, but I'm tired. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. Like, comment, and subscribe for more vintage content. I'm out.